so welcome back to my channel or if you are new hello welcome to my channel for today's video i am so excited because we're going to be doing a drugstore makeup get ready with me and i'm going to be using all of my holy grail favorites as well as some new products that i recently used that are affordable but so good and i am so excited because today's video is sponsored by af94 so huge shout out to them for working with me in today's video i am so freaking grateful because i have been obsessed with this brand ever since they first launched and i've been using them non-stop on camera off camera i actually just featured them in my best of beauty so af94 is halsey's makeup brand which you can find at walmart and i not only love the quality of the products the pigmentation the wearability but they're also vegan cruelty free and nothing is over ten dollars which is amazing so today i'm going to be highlighting some of my favorites from the brand but next time you guys are at walmart definitely check them out their display is so cute and they have some really great products so make sure you guys grab a snack of course get cozy or grab your makeup and your brushes so we can get ready together and have some girl time so i'm going to start with my eyebrows as always i'm taking the oma beauty brow styler i cannot stop using this and i actually realized after i posted my best of beauty that i totally forgot to talk about brow products in that video but honestly that's because i kind of overlooked the brows because i used the same products i think for at this point for like almost two years maybe even longer i know like the pomade that i use from elf which is the liner and brow cream that has been in rotation I want to say for at least two, three years, but the Oma Beauty brow pencil, the two-in-one brow styler, I discovered this last year and it has been a repurchase of mine ever since then. This is probably now like my fourth one and I'm in the shade 08. You can get this at Walmart and I just love the convenience of having two products in one, but I also really love this formula. Also, the weather here today is rainy cloudy gloomy so doing this makeup right now is so therapeutic this is truly like free therapy right now just painting my face and like i told you guys i'm still obsessed with the elf liner and brow cream in the shade espresso i've had this for so long i actually need to get a new one because this one is pretty dried out but it truly is my favorite it's so pigmented and long lasting and i like to just use an angled brush this one i got from walmart years ago but elf also has a really good angled brow brush and i think a brush like this is necessary in all of our collections so i pretty much just fill in the rest of my brows with that pomade and then i just clean them up with some concealer to make them look more polished and clean it also helps because if my brows ever look a little bit too thick and harsh i think cleaning them up just makes them look better my brows are so thick today i'm definitely gonna have to make them look a little bit thinner when i clean them up as well because they are giving 2016 today a little bit and honestly my brows still aren't perfect i aspire one day to have very symmetrical even eyebrows but we'll get there just not today today we gotta fake it with makeup <laughs> also it's time to clean these up i'm gonna take my makeup revolution irl filter concealer i typically use a stick foundation but today i'm just gonna use a concealer anything will work so i just take the concealer and run it right underneath and then i like to spoolie through them especially the inner corner of the brows so it doesn't look too boxy so I feel like my eyebrows are thicker than normal, but I'm just gonna go with it because I'm looking at them and they look even, but they're just thick today. Let's just go with it. So I'm gonna prime with the Milani eyeshadow primer. I actually really like this. And today for eyeshadows, I'm bringing it back with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose Eyeshadow Palette. So I have not used these in so long. I remember being obsessed with all of the little reloaded palettes. But I went to Ulta last week and I wanted to pick these up again. I've swatched some of these and I'm like, why did I ever get rid of these? They're such cute palettes, mattes and shimmers. And there was like eight bucks at Ulta, which is crazy because you get quite a few different eyeshadows in here. So I'm going to start with this color right here. I want to go pretty glam today since actually I have no reason but I just want to so I'm gonna start with this color and this color and I'm just gonna buff that in my crease on my lid Let me know down below what your go-to drugstore eyeshadows are. I really love the e.l.f. Bite Size eyeshadows. Hard Candy has little eyeshadows that I really enjoy. LA Girl also has really good eyeshadows, but I wanted to try something that I haven't used in a while. Like I said, with these palettes, I kind of forgot about them, to be honest, because I decluttered them a few years back. I'm going to add some of this brown, and I'm going to mix it with this like reddish brown. Let's do both of those. And I'm basically going to work these two shades all over the lid. I 
feel like I always need my finger here to just pull very lightly and it helps. At least in my mind, this is doing something for me as I'm doing my eyeshadow. But I'm gonna leave the center a little bit bare. I mean, if I do get eyeshadow there, it's not a huge deal. I'm gonna cover it up anyway, but I just wanna make this pretty smoky because I know everyone is so into like simple natural makeup and I always see people talking about how they miss 2016 makeup 2017 like that kind of era and I'm like okay so do it like let's bring it back let's keep the glam we don't always have to follow these trends of simple makeup natural makeup like let's do some glam but don't get me wrong I love simple neutral makeup but who doesn't love to just play with makeup and just paint your face and do a little smoky eye every once in a while now we're going to add the halo and I'm going to take this light pinky sheen color. It's not really a full-blown shimmer, but it's still pretty. And I'm going to add that right to the center. And then I just like to blend out the edges with whatever is left over on the brush. It just helps to diffuse that out a little bit. Oh, I love that color. That's really pretty. Spraying your brush is a must though with these shimmers. Now we curl the lashes and apply some mascara and the newest one or one of the new ones that I tried out is the highly rated lash extensions from Milani. This is amazing. It adds so much length separation. I am obsessed with it. The new e.l.f. mascara, the lash and roll is another great option too. I love this formula too. It doesn't flake and it's just really really nice great wand too and apparently this is a dupe for another high-end mascara i believe it's one from thrive cosmetics now i'm going to tight line my upper lash line this is such a crucial step i think especially when you're doing something that's a little bit more dramatic so i'm using the af94 star 69 gel liner in the shade antagonist these are actually really good they're super creamy i love the black color they also have a nude shade that is really good Another great find that I love from AF94 are their eyelashes. And one of my favorite styles is the Lash 03. And they're going to be perfect with today's look because they're a little bit more voluminous, but still very wearable. The band is flexible. They're easy to apply. And they come in two other styles that are a little bit more natural, but also perfect for simple glam. So like I said, I'm going to use Lash 03 because this look calls for a more voluminous lash. And these are so pretty. I actually have gone through a couple of these. And you can actually reuse these up to 20 times, which is great. Just peel off the lash spray a little alcohol to remove any mascara or makeup let them dry and you can keep reusing them for however many times you want honestly and of course I'm using my kiss strip lash adhesive I use this every single time I do my makeup and I have for the past eight years how perfect are these I love them I'm gonna cover up any excess lash glue that I may have but I love them they give the perfect amount of volume perfect length they're not too long they're not heavy on the eyes truly perfection So now I'm going to prep the skin with the Milani Make It Last. This is the Jumbo Bottle, which by the way, you can find at Walmart. Typically like Super Center Walmarts have it, but it's my holy grail. I'm going to use that later on as well, but I always like to do a little bit of spray because it really helps for your products to stick better and it adds a nice boost to the skin. Now I cannot stop using the new Woe Glow Sun Touchable SPF and Primer from e.l.f. And I only recommend this if you enjoy super glowy skin because it makes your skin look like a glazed donut. But I personally really love that look and this is also really hydrating. Hasn't pilled on me yet. I think it's a nice base under makeup. I like the way my products look over top and how they apply. So hydrating. See how pretty that is? It's always difficult for me to like blend my forehead perfectly, so I'm gonna use a brush. This one is from Anissa Beauty, by the way. It is the Pinnacle Skin. So good for blending in primers or moisturizers. But like, look at that glowy finish. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Liquid Halo Glow filter from e.l.f., but with less coverage, but it gives that super similar effect that I think is just stunning, especially right before makeup. You wanna make sure your skin is hydrated, even if you have oily skin. I mean, keep it hydrated and then use your mattifying products because you always wanna make sure your skin has some kind of moisture in it. That way your makeup goes on a lot smoother and it just sits better on the skin. For foundation, I'm gonna take the Camo CC Cream from e.l.f. I'm in the color Light 240. W. This is 
another forever favorite. It has really good coverage and I love how this wears on my skin. I like to rub it in with my finger first a little bit and then I will really buff this out and concentrate the product with my brush. So good. I love this product. It's still one of my favorites and it's a great dupe for the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Taking my Anissa Beauty Pinnacle Foundation Brush. And when you blend everything out with your finger a little bit and then go in with a brush or a sponge after, it also makes the process easier. Like as you're blending, the color might look not like I could match, but I swear this matches me so nicely in person. It is pretty yellow though. I could probably add something to correct it, but I always make it work. I think with concealer and all the other products. How nice is this product though? This actually also has SPF in it, so I personally just really like it for day to day. Something that I'm really sad about though is the NYX Born to Glow foundation. Apparently that foundation is getting discontinued. I think some shades are still available, but it's so sad because that was one of my all-time favorites and it was $10. Anyways, let's go in with concealer. I'm taking the IRL Filter Finish and I'm taking the color C4. I also have C5, which I feel like is a little bit more bright and yellowy. This one is definitely much more neutral, but I love this concealer. I just started using it, but it somehow gives really nice coverage. It wears nicely as well, and it doesn't get creepy under my under eyes. It blends so seamlessly as well. The consistency of it is actually not as thick, but it still has nice coverage. You can build it up as well, but I usually do one layer and it looks so good. It does have a little bit of a paint smell though. It goes away, but it it's there. So just something to keep in mind. I smell all of my products, so I always like to mention scents. <laughs> I know not everybody does, but that looks so good. See, like I feel like with the concealer too, it helps to balance out the foundation if it looks a little yellowy and not like my perfect match, but light 240W is typically like my go-to shade in e.l.f. Cause that's also the color that I'm in in their powder foundation, which I love. Now, one of my all time favorite products from AF94 that I cannot put down is the Playdate Multi-Use Cheek and Lip Color. I talked about these in my Best of Beauty, but this is one of the best stick blushes. Blends like a dream, gives you such pretty pigment on the cheeks and the shades that they have are absolutely beautiful. So today I'm using the color Soft Smile, which is my personal favorite shade. It's the most stunning everyday pink. You can also use these on your lips and they, the formula is honestly just like high end they're so bomb i just discovered this new color also in savor like hello summer this is going to be the most perfect peachy bronzy color i just cannot get over this formula it's too good you guys have to try it when you go to walmart for me personally i like to take a brush and just dip directly into the product and then from here add it to my cheeks and look at the color that it gives but also do you see how soft and diffused it looks it also doesn't pick up any of my foundation underneath and it has a nice comfortable like natural matte finish so beautiful see so blendable you can keep it natural or you can build it up as you go but i can honestly add blush all day because that's how nice the formula is i'm gonna add a little bit of contour and i'm taking the liquid contour from milani i love this one in the shade 01 honey another great blendable product and a good dupe packaging does get messy but i don't care because the product is so good so i look past that I'm gonna kind of blend that into my hairline to make it look super seamless. If I ever do a little bit too much on my forehead, what I do is just take my foundation brush and with whatever is left over, just kind of buff it out. Now we set and I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution IRL 2-in-1 powder. So you get a pressed powder on one side, a loose powder on the other, and I'm gonna start with the pressed powder first on my under eyes. This is what it looks like. There is quite a bit of kickback with this powder, but it's still really nice. Nonetheless, it applies beautifully. And I'm using my Real Technique setting brush. I always say right before you set your under eyes, blend out your creases if you have any. If it settles into your fine lines, that's fine. It happens, just blend it out and then look up and set immediately after. So if your concealer creases, this will help for you not to set directly on your under eye creases. It gives such a blurred finish and it mattifies the skin, but it also feels so comfortable. The powder doesn't feel overly dry. So I like to just concentrate the product in those smaller areas first, and then I'll take a bigger brush to set the rest of the face.
It's nice too because even if you have any cream products underneath, when you set with this, it's not going to remove any of the color. And it also isn't orange. Like it's a true translucent powder, so it's not going to alter the color of your makeup. And I'm going to take a little powder puff. And this one is from Rose and Ben. It's so good. It literally feels like a mini cloud. But I'm going to take that loose powder on the other side. And I like to wipe off the excess of right on the back of my hand. And then just go in and... Over where I put the pressed powder, just apply some of the loose powder to further smooth everything out. I will even run this around my cheek area as well. And look at that. I'm like, this looks really good too. But when you add the loose powder over top, it just takes it there. It takes it to where it needs to be. I want to add just a touch more powder blush to emphasize the cheeks a little bit more and I'm taking the Burt's Bees blush in shy pink one of the best colors this one toasted cinnamon bare peach but I'm feeling the pinky vibes today especially with my pink robe and this smoky eye that we have going on it calls for some pink blush and this is a pretty combo with the cream blush that I used as well Let's do a lip combo so I'm going to actually start with the NYX Lying Loud lip pencil in the shade Magic Maker The formula of these is next level. I'm also like filling in the lips just a little bit. Me fills in my entire lip. And I did this lip combo in one of my last videos, but I love it so much. But I'm taking the new e.l.f. O Satin Lipstick in Dirty Talk. I'm gonna pop that right in the center. It's a light pinky nude. So creamy and pigmented. I love this formula. I'm just cleaning up the lip liner. Another great AF94 product are their lip glosses, specifically the Give Em Lip High Shine glosses. I love the color Honey I'm Home. It is the most beautiful light nude. This works with a ton of my favorite lip combos, but today I'm actually going to use the color Slam Dunk, which is a light sheer baby pink. So good. Not sticky. And it gives this perfect element of shininess while also adding a light wash of color. I like these two with just lip liner, but it's a nice addition to any of your favorite lip combos as well. This is the prettiest milky pink. Now I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm going back in with the Star 6 9 gel liner in the shade Perfect Fit. This is a nice nude. And I'm just going to line my waterline and add a little bit of eyeshadow with mascara. I love nude too because it's a little bit less harsh than white, but it still adds some nice brightness to the eyes. So if you don't like white liner, try a nude one. Oh yeah, I also have to set my eyebrows. I knew I was missing something, but I'm going to take this brown color that I was using earlier and ever so lightly, I'm going to just smudge that on the lash line. And then I'm going to set the eyebrows, of course. Got to keep those in place. It also takes away from the powdery look. I mean, do you see the difference? It's subtle, but it makes your eyebrows look more alive after the rest of the makeup is complete. Last but not least, we're going to seal the deal with Milani Make It Last, of course. And we are done. So that completes this drugstore makeup get ready with me. These products are just too good and I'm really happy with the look that I created. I will have all the products for you guys linked as always in the description box below if you're interested and don't forget to check out AF94 next time you guys are at Walmart. The brand is awesome and the fact that they are at such a great price point and under 10 is amazing and just the cherry on top. So check them out and shout out to AF94 again for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.